Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rocio. How are you today? Fine, and you? I'm doing you okay. Too, what about you? I'm doing okay, thank you. You guys ready for vacation? Yes. yes. I need it. <laughs> Good evening, Isidro. Yeah, vacation is urgent. Yeah. It's 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 cool. It's it's urgent. We need it like as soon as possible. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you're like run vacation run. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah, this is too fast. Right, right. Okay, so welcome back. What's today's date? Today's Thursday. 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 No, it's Thursday. 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 29th. 29th July. 29th of July. Ah, yes. 29th, 29th of July. Of July. Or you can say July 29th. 29th, yeah. The two options are good. All right. Okay. So, um, what did we talk about yesterday? Yesterday, we were talking about present continuous. Present continuous or present perfect? Present, present perfect. Oh, present perfect. <laughs> right, present perfect. <laughs> All right, and uh, what's the auxiliary we use when we use the present perfect? Has and have. Have and has, exactly. <laughs> what is the form of the verb? Um, past participle. Past participle. Past participle. Past participle. Right. So the form of the verb is um, the same whether the information is positive, negative, or question form. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's less work. It's less work. How do you say, he visto a tu tío? I have seen. I have I seen. Have I your have seen uncle. your uncle. Your uncle. I have, seen your, uncle. I have okay. seen your uncle. Good. How do you say no he visto a tu tío? I haven't seen. I didn't. I haven't seen. I didn't have. Seen. I haven't seen. Uh, yeah. I, I haven't, haven't seen, seen uh, your uncle. Your uncle. Uh huh. Okay. Pregúnteme si yo he visto a su tío. Ah, uh, usted ha visto a mi tío. In English. Have you, have you seen my uncle? <laughs> Have you seen my uncle? So whether the information is positive, <laughs> negative, or question form, um, the form of the verb is always past participle. It will never change. It will never change. Mm -hmm. Got it? So the same thing, if you're using positive, negatives, or questions, you always have to use has hasn't or have haven't so it's less work questions or comments what's the difference between things and for things is the the uh, uh, there's the for is para no for indicated specific time when, when, when we use for we are specified in the time. The amount of time for five years, for ten, for 10 months, for three hours. And when do you use things? For five days. For five days, uh-huh. What about things? When we, we use things when we, are, when we want to speak about at the moment, the action begin. Excellent. You use things? to indicate when the action began. That is correct. 
Any questions or comments? <laughs> Today I lost <laughs> with the with the topic. No, don't be lost. Present present perfect is a simple topic. The yeah. only challenge is knowing the past participle form of the verb. That's the only challenge. <laughs> okay. All right. Questions or comments? No? Okay. Do you remember how to express ideas in future tense? Will? Using, using will and going, going to. to. Okay. What's the difference between will and going to? Will is a possibility. Is going to is, is sure. Good. Will is a possibility and going to is for sure. sure. That is correct. Okay. That is correct. Uh, one point for me. Yes. <laughs> Mesquita. I got your name yes. down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, by the way, uh, thank you for your concern about the problems that we're having with the platform. They are very busy. They're extremely busy that they're solving um, different problems problems about the platform so just be patient and we know that the problem has been on our side so just be a little bit patient all right so let's talk oh, about yes okay. uh, i'm going to speak in spanish because uh, it's important that everybody can understand what i'm okay. to speak go ahead in uh, in in cuando fui a lo del área del certificado. Ya. Yeah. Los certificados lo expira con la fecha del año pasado. Exactly. So, ¿Es, eh, eh, ¿es válido? No. They're working on that too. También tienen ah. que arreglar eso. Son, son diferentes cuestiones que está experimentando ahorita el platform. Including that. Incluyendo okay. eso. Yes. Ok. Anything okay. else? Any Gracias. other comments, people? Teacher, pero estoy preocupada porque si no podemos trabajar la, 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 perdón, la plataforma, no vamos a pasar el curso. Uh, but what you can do, the videos that are giving you problems, skip them. Sálteselos y, y anote cuál es el área que, que, que está dejando pendiente pero que no lo detenga un video. O sea, usted, usted puede decir, ah, esto no me gusta, esto está muy difícil, lo voy a dejar para después. Y solo le da siguiente, siguiente, siguiente. No, pero, pero así hice, así hice. Yo, es, o sea, he seguido con los demás. Ajá. Y por eso he estado tomando fotos, porque lo hice en otro dispositivo para demostrar que no solamente no debe aprobar, es, no se pueden ver. Ok. Well, let me check. Hopefully, um, they will have a, an answer soon. Yes. A veces la app da más problemas. A veces es mejor trabajarlo directo desde la página. Porque en la página, a mí sí no me ha dado ningún problema. Pero la app, a veces sí da, 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 da problemas. No sé si, si tal vez le sirva de eso a los compañeros. Good, good. Thank you for the suggestion. Yep. Anything else? Any other questions? Okay, so whether you have plans for vacation or not, you will talk about the things you will do next week when in theory you should be resting, but that's not the same case for everybody. So let me create uh, groups. Thank you for being here on our last day of class of the month of July. And here we go.
<laughs> oh, you do. Okay. Yes. Until when uh, you will start vacation? Yes, um, tomorrow we um, return and pay a ghost. Oh, okay, you start tomorrow. Yes, yes, tomorrow. That's good. Uh, for me, I I under I I understood that it's in the in another form that will is for for seeing that you are sure and going to no it, but maybe in this course I'm teaching or, or or I don't know way. <laughs> I don't know but I remember that is <laughs> but the teacher, but the teacher is in the classroom, is in the room. Yes, Hello, sir. Teacher. How are you? Oh. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Good. Glenda, Glenda and Rocio was telling me about about the the activity. Uh huh. She she told me that uh, you we are going to use will when you are about our uh, are talking about a possibility uh, going to is for plans yes it's for plans yes yep yes it's in this way because yes. uh in past courses i i remember that is in another way but in if this course we are learning by this way why is the reason? Could I don't, you tell me? Well, uh, I don't know where you were studying before, if it's Inglés Corporativo yeah. or another institution, but grammatically speaking, when you talk about possibilities, you use will. When you talk about things that are in an agenda that will happen for sure, you use going to. Ah, nice. Thank you. Maybe sure. I don't remember. I do, I used to study at the Academy Europea. Uh -huh. uh, maybe uh, in this moment, but I studied the last time uh, six years ago. And <laughs> maybe I <laughs> I forgot. I forget. <laughs> yeah, maybe you got I, confused. I yes. Thank you. Okay. But thank you for the exploration. Sure. No problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Mm, maybe it's hot. Hot is yeah. calor, creo que es hot. 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 Uh, hot. <coughs> Then, the, this, this days, the hot, because it's very important for us to improve every day our skill in English. And I'm going to try to take advantage this week and continue to study more English because it's very important for me to improve my English skills, my fluency, my listening skills. And for me, that is very important. I'm going to try to study a little more. And uh, will you go, I don't know, will you go to the uh, party on next week? Uh, I will go to... I will go to the... Uh, What's the name? It is uh, the Sinovac. Ah, okay. And you? I, I vaccinate with AstraZeneca. Oh, I think I was uh, listening that is a different uh, complications. Yes, reactions. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I just, I, no tener symptoms? I don't have symptoms. I don't have symptoms in my second dosage. Okay, when did you get your second doses? I'm going to second doses 3 August. Oh, okay. When did you get the first shot? I'm, I was uh, first doses in June. June, did you get any symptoms? I don't have only my dolor en el brazo. Pain in my arm. Excuse me? Pain in my arm. Oh, thank you. Thank yep. You. And you? Uh, for me, I don't have, I had a, the same symptom, the pain in my arm in my first doses, in my second doses, I don't have anything. Right, right. Yeah, the, the same thing happened to me. The first shot, uh, my arm hurt a lot and, and I got sick. With the second one, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Only the, except the arm. Uh, do you have the Sinovac? No, I had the Cypher, I think it's the name. Pfizer? Pfizer, yes. Pfizer, yeah, Pfizer. I got Pfizer. Yep. So there are different options. Yes. All right. So let's return to the main session. Okay, thank you. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Any questions or comments, people, about how to express your ideas in the future tense or questions about vocabulary? It, uh, teacher, um, mm -hmm. I don't remember so good, but when I used to will in in negative is will not or other form? Um, it's will not, but people usually use the contraction form. What is the contraction of will not class? Won't. Won't. Yes. Ah, yes, I knew. <laughs> yeah, will not is the regular form, but the contracted form is won't. Won't. Yep. Any other Won't. questions or comments? W O N apostrophe T. Won't is. Uh -huh. Could you spell this? Sure. W O N apostrophe T. Ah, yeah. Won't. Mm -hmm. Right there, won't. Thank you. Okay, how do you say no voy a ir? I won't go. I won't go. How I do you won't. say no te voy a decir? I, I won't tell, I tell you. you. I won't tell you. Excellent, very good. Questions or comments? In this case, uh, is. Um, I won't tell you. It's no, I want to tell you. I won't tell you. Okay. I won't tell you. Any other questions or comments, people? No? no All right. So can. let me show you a set of questions. Share. Mm -hmm. 
we did this uh, 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 exercise yesterday, right? Yes, we did. Okay, so we it's did. the it's the other document then. Da -da 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 -da. Give me a second. Not now. <laughs> Give me a second. Remember, when you're working in pairs, you're not supposed to use Spanish. If I catch you speaking Spanish, you will buy pupusas for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nick. <laughs> How many pupusas for each person? <laughs> Two or three? <laughs> three. Three. Okay, three pupus. Or four. <laughs> yeah, four. Three, or, three or four. Uh, that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes, teacher. Yes, I do. What color yes, do you see? It's yellow. It's yellow, exactly. It's yellow. So... See this? Uh huh. Copy. And what happened to the supposedly? What's yeah, what's up was open supposedly, but it wasn't. Give me a second. Uh -huh. Let me activate this. Eight to nine. No, it's not a. Give me a second. Right there. Uh huh. Come on, what's up? Don't take too long. So. Eight to nine. And there you go. So let me assign you to working pairs let me recreate 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 all right and answer the questions about present perfect here we go people practice your fluency and your accuracy
the functions that we we was talking uh, about. Okay. Number three, if a student want to explain the perfect the present perfect to them, what will you tell him? So I tell you, <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> yes, you tell me. <laughs> Yes, uh -huh. Yo he vivido. I is I have I have lived. Yes, I have lived. Lived con Ed. I have lived. Uh -huh. Lived. I have lived. I have lived in Mex Mexicanos for Time. One yes. thousand. Uh -huh. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In 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 um in the student um in the student wanted you to spray the perfect or then what more to tell the like three three yeah uh, a student uh, uh, you explain uh, then the perfect perfect to them uh, what would you tell them I don't know. Oh, yes, because uh, some verbs irregular change, so, but, but it's only that you study the, the past participle in verbs irregular, uh, it's uh, easy. Nice, nice. The fifth one, the five one, what's the difference between have you ever and do you ever? It was the difference. Um, do you ever, had you ever, and do you ever? Yes. Have you ever, the translation in, in Spanish is alguna vez, and do you? Number six. Can you think Can you of, think a, more of a more helpful of use, useful, useful, useful. for the present perfect than the present perfect? Teacher, I don't know. Que puedes decir, uh, which, which number? Number five, number six. Number six. Let me see. Six. Number five. Uh, it says, what's the difference? Let me see, give me a second. Okay, uh, what's the difference between have you ever and do you ever? I don't let, know. Yes. Let, let me give you an example. Use the chat. Okay. Do you ever use a motorcycle. Do you ever? Use a motorcycle. How do you say that one in Spanish? Do you ever use a motorcycle? ¿Tú siempre usas motocicleta? Mm -mm. ¿Alguna vez usa usted um, motocicleta? Ever means alguna vez. And it has no connection with forever. There is no connection with it. So do you ever use a motorcycle? ¿Alguna vez usa o anda usted en motocicleta? Now when you say, have you ever used a motorcycle? Have you ever used a motorcycle? No, I have, no. Aha. Uh -huh. So la primera dice, no, do you ever use a motorcycle? ¿Usted alguna vez usa moto? Ajá. Uh -huh. And the no, second one, ¿alguna vez usted ha usado moto? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. no, so I the haven't first really one, used. the first one is simple present. The second one is present perfect. Got it? Have you ever it's present perfect? Yes, and do you ever is simple present. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. Do you ever simply press? Oh, okay, it's a verb. It's verb. Do you it's ever? Verb, teacher. Do you ever? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you ever work on Sundays? Trabaja usted los domingos? Alguna vez? And then, have you ever worked on Sunday? Alguna vez ha trabajado usted los domingos? So, mm -hmm. the message is similar, but it's, it's different. Okay. Got it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Number C. I don't know. Sorry, sorry. Alcanzó a ir cuando se me había olvidado explicar la número six. Okay. It? Uh -huh. it says, can you think of a more helpful or useful name for the present perfect than the present perfect? Puede pensar de una manera más útil o que ayude más en un nombre en vez del presente perfecto. Can you think about a different name? Si puede pensar en un nombre diferente. Got it? No, no teacher. Dice, puede pensar usted know. de una manera que ayude más o un nombre más útil para el presente perfecto que no sea el presente perfecto. So, si le dijeran, mire, ya no se va a llamar presente perfecto, ¿cómo le pondría usted? I don't know. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a question that you need to think of. So, what would be a good name? All right. Mm -hmm. So that's the meaning of number six. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good. Thank you, teacher. Sure. No problem.
<laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't like. General, I don't like. <laughs> yes. But in general, yes. You choose some question using perfect question, maybe. You choose as uh, your favorite present perfect question. Okay, and what is your favorite present present in present my, question? My favorite present perfect question. I don't I have never <laughs> seen of <all> that. <laughs> When the activity is finished, uh, present perfect is the activity continue. Yes, but um, to the the use of verb, um, the pair is in infinitive, with you said, and the other is past simple or simple past. And for example. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea about other name that you can put in that Navi present person? Mm -hmm. If and you have you, to change this you, name for other name, what name you maybe are going to use? And uh, uh, useful. 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 Yeah. Is when you have anything that. Is Oh, oh. Ya regresamos. Ok. Nos vemos. Bye. Where are you going, Carmen? Oh, Hi. teacher, sorry. <laughs> Hi, teacher. How are you? Yo pensé que regresábamos. Hi, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> Which... Estamos dando vía. En este tema estamos dando vía. Sí, Why? ¿Por qué? Uh -huh. Es bien sencillo. Es que... A ver, no ¿qué, ¿qué parte no, 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 no logran comprender? On, uh, are todo, are todo. <ríe> todo. ¿El es presente el, perfecto? El Ajá, dígame. Eh, más que todo, lo que yo le decía a Carmen, que lo que me cuesta es como la estructura, digamos, es decir, o, o, o en qué momento usar el, el verbo en, en presente perfecto. El present perfect. Okay. El presente perfecto es el nombre del tiempo gramatical, de toda la estructura. Toda la estructura. La oración positiva, la oración negativa o la pregunta completa, eso está en presente perfecto. Así como se dice presente simple, pasado continuo, pasado simple, este se le llama presente perfecto. La forma del verbo en el presente perfecto es pasado participio. Es como cuando usted dice, es, estoy cocinando, I am cooking. En ese caso, en el presente continuo, el ING va acompañando el verbo. Entonces, cuando hablamos del presente perfecto, el verbo toda la vida, por obligación, va a ser pasado participio. Sea que el ejemplo sea positivo, negativo o en forma de pregunta. El verbo siempre va a ser en past participle. Sí, le voy a poner un ejemplo ahorita. Yo le voy a decir, I have fallen many times. Dice, me he caído muchas veces. <risa> fallen es el pasado participio del verbo caer. Y ese have lo que hace es me he ella ha, nosotros hemos, usted ha. El presente perfecto lo ocupamos para hablar de acciones que no han terminado. Pueda que cuando usted esté hablando, la acción no se esté dando, pero puede repetirse esa, esa, esa acción en el futuro. Y por esa razón es que el, el presente perfecto se le considera para hablar de acciones no terminadas, no terminadas. Por ejemplo, yo he estado en clase desde las 8 de la noche. Las 8 de la noche es tiempo pasado, pero yo continúo en clase. 
So I have been in class since eight o'clock. So eh, les voy a mandar un link eh, donde les explican cómo es que funciona el presente perfecto. Ok, teacher. Ya. Está en mudo, Carmen María. I don't know the present perfect. I need, I need study. extra information. Yes. Uh, les envié el libro de gramática. No. No, teacher. Un, un libro de gramática al, al, al WhatsApp. No. No, no teacher. Okay. No. Okay, let's go back to the main session y ahí vamos a hablar de ese libro. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank All you. Right. All right. Thank you, teacher. Ok, me decían de que no les he enviado un libro de gramática a ustedes. No, teacher. No, teacher. Ok, este libro de gramática trae lo más básico, lo más básico de la gramática en inglés. Aparece el presente simple, el pasado simple, el presente continuo, el pasado continuo, el futuro... Y el tema más alto en cuestión de tiempos gramaticales es el present perfect. Eh, acuérdenme, se los voy a enviar al, al, al WhatsApp. Si puede imprimir, imprímalo. Vale la pena imprimir el libro. Entonces, okay. en la parte izquierda del libro okay. aparece la explicación. En la parte derecha aparecen ejercicios. Including the present okay. perfect. Okay, when when are you going to, to um, send us? Let me see if I can send it right now. Patricia, we are going to finish for this week today. Yeah, today is our last class. Yeah, but when we have to come back to take the class? We come back in two Mondays. Not this Monday, but the other one. The other one, all right. Yep. Okay, copy it. Okay, now in where the same is hours, in the same, same place, same time. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. And then when we return from vacation, we have like um, like six or seven, I think seven more classes, and we finish. All right, um, okay. okay. All right, let me see this here. Share screen. A second. Okay, it's right here. Almost time, uh, almost finished time. <laughs> yep. Voy a ver si alcanzo a enviarles um, este libro. Teacher. Yes. But when we return to vacation, uh, we come back. We come back um, not this Monday, but the other oh, one. Night. Yeah. August 9th. So, nine. This, 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 August 9th, yes. August 9th. Yeah. August ninth. Exactly. Okay. So, eh, el libro tiene 233 pages, 233 páginas. Eh, si usted se va cerca de la Universidad Nacional o cerca de la Universidad Tecnológica, encuentra las fotocopias hasta en centavo y medio o dos centavos. Así que puede eh, imprimirlo if you want. Pero creo que se va a tardar un ratito porque es, es a little bit heavy. Ok, ladies okay. and gentlemen, um, yeah. once you receive the book printed, Um, si no tienen una impresora, le vuelvo a repetir, vaya por la tecnológica, por la nacional, ahí puede encontrar las fotocopias bien baratas. Y para mientras, pues ahí le empieza a ver en su teléfono, en su computadora. So you, can, so you can practice, right? Yes. Any questions or comments? The connection. No. no? Okay, so thank you very much for your time. Have a nice vacation. Y a todos los que están aquí presentes ahorita, los quiero volver a ver el 9 de agosto. Have a good night.